What's going on guys? It's your boy, the cringiest music producer on the internet, and I'm coming at you with another tutorial. This one is going to be about synth stacks. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to make a pretty much professional quality synth stack using just Serum, uh, which uh, a lot of people that I've talked to think, oh, you need JP6K, like Virtual Riot, or Massive for the Grammy bass that he uses. Um, and while he does use those things, uh, you can totally do it with just Serum. Uh, yeah, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, so I've prepared a little chord progression that our synths will be playing. So I'll just play that through now, and then we'll get into the actual sound design. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good right now because everything's super fake and mono. So what we're going to do is I have all of the presets uh, picked out right here. So we're going to start with the high synth sound. So you hear it. Oh, let me see. Yeah, this is right. So you hear it in three, two, one. So we've got one saw wave uh, at 16 voices, detuned down just a little bit. You want it to be pretty detuned on the higher synths so that you get that wider feeling and more kind of epic feel. Uh, and that's also why you have one oscillator, one octave up, is because it makes it sound, when you've got more high end on the synths, it sounds epic, like almost like a choir in the background or something. So if I put it down, this is what it sounds like. Now, with it. Just like some extra character. Uh, so next, we've got just a multiband compressor on with a threshold down to about 12.5, negative 12.5 decibels. And I didn't really touch anything else. Uh, reverb. I literally just turned it on and it sounds awesome like that, so I'll just keep it there. Uh, this reverb is pretty quiet. Let's turn it up to about 30%. Okay, that's weird. Uh, I'll put it back down. I can't hear the reverb for some reason. Maybe you guys can hear it. So this is it for the wider synth. Like, it's just two saw waves, one up an octave, both at 16 voice, detuned down a little bit just so that it's a little bit detuned on the outside. And, oh, and I put the volume for oscillator B down just a little bit because it's pretty loud uh, if you just have them both at the same, the same volume. Okay, so let's clone this. Copy that and paste it there. So, what this one is, is the narrow low. So, it's a, it's the same kind of idea for the sound, it's just more detuned, and once we get into the effects of everything, you'll see why it's called narrow. It's, it's still pretty stereo, but not as much as the last one. So this one, I've just got the detune up a little bit more, and the octaves are the same and the levels up a little bit more on this one because you can't have them both just blasting full uh, same exact same effects I just have the size up a little bit on the reverb that sounds cool uh, master make sure there's no limiter on always okay so there's this these are really loud right now so I'm first going to assign them to mixer tracks before we continue so now when we play it these are going to be super loud that's why you can hear it clipping a bit I just realized that's probably really loud for you guys so sorry about that I'm just gonna bring them down to about there for now awesome so let's solo this one This one. Cool. That's sounding good for now. 
Uh, let's get another serum going on in here. Okay. So the last one in the pack is the base support. Uh, so this, if you've ever seen Virtual Riot's Making of Lunar video, you've seen how he has one serum, like the first one that I showed you, um, really wide and kind of detuned. Then he's got a JP6K that's playing more of a mono bait or mono synth like this. Um, and then he's and then he went into massive, and made a support base to go on top of the sub base to give it just a little bit of griminess. And I wanted to make this tutorial all in serum so I decided to try to not recreate it but make a base that would that could replace it and I think I got a pretty good one okay so I'm going to copy this control C and go here piano roll control V and then control and the down arrow puts it down in octave and we'll do one more. So the reason I only took, so the reason I only took the ones around F2, E2, not the ones all the way, that went all the way down to C2, is because you don't want it to get too low because at that point, it's just, it's just wet and not a sound anymore. That can be used in a song and it sounds good. And also you can't play C2 with a sub bass. It's just, way too low and very few speakers are going to pick that up or any headphones and so this is what the bass sounds like okay that's gross so the wavetable i use is from digital crush wub I've got the wavetable position at 15 and the bend and a bend minus plus on it at negative 81%. So it's on the bend plus side. Um, I've got a little bit of unison in here, three voices and the detune down a lot because I wanted it to be wide like the synths so it doesn't take up the space of the sub bass. But at the same time, I didn't want it to be detuned because it detunes support bass doesn't sound good and it tends to stick out in a mix. Um, so in terms of, of effects, I have distortion, tube distortion on up a lot of the way, um, just to make it a little bit grimier. So if I take these off uh, and we will hear it now. That's nothing, like you can barely hear the high end on it. So, whoops. So we'll turn on distortion and let's have a listen now. And then multiband compression. Um, so I barely did anything here. I put the threshold up to negative 11.1 decibels and the release down to 482 milliseconds. So, and it's a multiband compressor, of course. Um, it also looks like I put the gain up, which I don't usually do. And oh, and I also put the mids up on the like OTT looking thing here. Put the mids up and the high end and low end stay the same. So what this does is just giving it more high end and crispness. And but when I have the mids down at 100% with the high ends, um, it was a little bit too like crunchy. You could hear it through the synths which I didn't want, so I just wanted the mids to come through and you, you want to feel it more than you actually hear it. Uh, so now with the compressor, it sounds like this. Uh, actually, let's get a before and after. So before. And after. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. So let's send this to a mixer track. Put it down. So once we have all the elements, then I'm going to start mixing them all together. So these, this is how it sounds so far. Cool. So now I'm going to copy this 
insert serum. And I didn't make a preset for the sub base because it would be pointless. Like you click six times, one, two, three, four, five, six, basic shapes, pure sine wave, that's it, you're golden. So we'll assign this to a mixer track and we'll, so this is at the same level as the base. So you can just copy and paste it over. So you won't hear much of a difference and that's because the previous base that I showed you has sub base, has some sub in it, which we don't want. So the first thing we're gonna do is get rid of the sub base out of all of these sounds. Um, let's just use a simple EQ to show that anyone can do it. High pass, steep eight, and then just bring it over until you're just cutting out the 100 there. Um, so there's synth one, done. Synth two, synth eight. High pass. And here. All right, so make sure you never cut too high up for your sound. I guess it depends on the sound that you want, but um, if you start cutting out too much of the low mid frequencies, it just starts sounding hollow and like almost superficial. Uh, so there's all the EQing we're going to do for now. So if we take out the bass, now there's no bass. Cool. Um, so this is the sub bass. So the main thing that you want to do for your subs I usually have my sub bass hitting at about negative 15 decibels. I don't know what other artists use, but that seems to be working for me. So I'm putting it down to negative 18 and I'm going to put some distortion on it. So we'll just load up Fruity Wave Shaper, simplest distortion plugin in the world. And we'll just slowly rise this up as we listen to it. good you probably won't be able to hear it unless you've got good headphones or good speakers but um it it sounds good you get those nice overtones without like the crunchy actual high end on it um so that's it for the bass now we'll just turn it down there perfect uh now this is done. We don't need to do anything else on the support base, but turn it down apparently. We'll get that down to hitting around negative 17 decibels. That sounds cool. All right, so these synths, we're going to get the stereo enhancer on both of them. And this just makes them super wide if you want. So with this one, I'll solo it. This is the more mono bass or mono synth. And I'm not going to put I'm not gonna offset this too much, but you'll hear it now. Oh wait. Oh no. Alright, this is the wider synth. So we want this to be pretty off to the side. This is the phase offset, and it says how much the left and right of the signal are offset from each other. So if you hear it now, it all starts at the same time. But if I put this, let's say all the way up, just uh, not all the way up. So now the left is hitting, you can see in the top left corner, about 200 milliseconds before the right. So now if I play it, oh, 200 milliseconds after the right. Um, so we just want to get this to the point where you won't hear it too much. That's fine because on the 
um, initial hit of the synths, it's going to be, there's probably going to be some side chain and a kick or something. So you won't hear that too much. And we'll just put this up a little bit. This just makes it a little bit wider on its own, like the specific channels. Awesome. That sounds cool. Let's see what the levels are like. So we want this higher one to be at around negative 15. That works. Put it up a little bit. And now this is the last one. That doesn't need much enhancing. So just put this up a little bit and put this up to the right a little bit. So that just in case if we do hear the synths start on their own, you've got something starting in the right ear early and something starting in the left ear early. So it kind of cancels each other out and they won't even notice. So there's that. How loud is this? Uh, we don't want it to be too much quieter than that. We'll keep it there. And that should be good. I haven't listened to it all together, so it might be horrible. But let's try it out. That sounds cool. Uh, let's turn this up a little bit. Awesome. Sounding really cool. And you can add a synth or, or a lead in behind it or something if you want. So this was a pretty cool sounding synth for just being serum and very, very little post-processing. Uh, so drop a like if you liked it and subscribe for more content. I'll probably be uploading Tuesdays, fries, Tuesdays, fries, and Sunday. So keep an eye out then or just hit the notification thing and you'll get notified. I'll see you in the next video.